Yes, finally, finally, finally! Again, because I had to restart this video, I was trying to find something. I'm back again with another Talk About video. Ooh. So yeah, we got some new news, of course, right here. We have a new Super Vegeta coming for the next token fest for JP. Really weird Super Vegeta, because I honestly thought it was going to be something different. Like, um, I just... I don't know, because we all thought it was going to be Baby, and it was like a huge thing. But we had Legendary Vegeta event get teased, and that made way too much sense. Like, I thought, because, you know, having Doki Fest Baby with this. But at the same time, we had GT Goku with... Uh, I mean, I didn't really know about Discord noise. Uh, we had GT Vegeta with... Because happened, happened in my last video as well. Um, GT Vegeta... Uh, we had him and Goku, but we had like the GG, the GG Goku event, which makes sense. Maybe we're gonna say, I don't know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and like, I don't know, baby, I just go whatever, granted, whatever. Um, it's gonna be like worldwide or, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Go Gogeta and Omega again for LRs. I wouldn't mind that though, but I don't know, because last year we did get like Ultimate Gohan before the Down Celebration, and what's confirmed the Down Celebration was gonna be Blue Saga, and it was like way obvious. Like, it was nobody out the water we were gonna take that. Like, Super Vegeta and Blue Han, but we didn't think Blue Han would be uh, deserving of the LR. We thought, we thought that was like, um, just like a straight Blue Han. Like, just straight Blue Han, like LR, but not like Blue Tanks. Because I just just pull Blue Tanks. He actually is good. Like, he's really, really good. Uh, I hope a lot of things from the anniversary for Global for six years. But yeah. Um, so this could be a regular, regular Super Vegeta, which is actually really, really weird. Again, I don't know. It's, it feels really weird because we know we all thought it was gonna be Baby. But, um, the video we got this year, this month, um, I just teased our for a second. Uh, it's gonna be like a Vegeta event right here. So I guess it's, because we have like every form of Vegeta, I guess, fully now. If Evolution Blue Vegeta, it seems like he's gonna be the well, one of the opponents. God Vegeta, Super Vegeta, um, this video right here. So it seems like the new Super Vegeta will probably be a part of his, like, um, his, his um, art will probably be in here somewhere. Um, in the, um, like, in the event. Cause it'll be like a regular base form of Vegeta. There'll be this guy. There'll be like, you know, I guess the new Super Vegeta. Super Saiyan 2. I don't know how they can handle that though, because he does go in Blue Saga though, so the body changes clothes over. No, because he has the whole armor on the whole way through, so. Super Saiyan 2? Do we have a. Does it go Super, Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2? Oh yeah, because we already have Super Saiyan 2 to provide a sprite when he uh, went Super Saiyan 2 in the, um, in, in the Transforming Guard though, because this is LR Vegeta. Then I guess maybe we'll see him like without the shirt maybe, as a special other opponent. No, because it'll be like GT Goku, it'll be like 7, I think. Um, I'll probably be, like base form, Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, Super Saiyan 2. God, blue, then evolution blue? Like, an evolution blue, I said more. Blue, then evolution blue. I don't know, because Vegeta goes like, Vegeta has something for it. His new God of Destruction form, it's just, eh. I don't know, Vegeta's just got so much love this year, though, I feel like, in my opinion. So, um, yeah. I know, Celebration has been really good, though. I don't know who can easy from this, though, because I think we're all done with the 120s, I believe. Besides, are we done? Besides, because Gotenks got his hero, so we have AJ, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Vegeta. They got easy at the same time. Um,. Angel Goku. Who was it? It was Gogeta. Let's go with Gosengs. Again, we just got a lot of stuff like going on and stuff like that though. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm sorry I'm talking really fast. But yeah, um it seems like though that Vegeta though, like in general, um I just uh, Super Vegeta isn't like a bad choice. I feel like he could be a little bit later down the line, like Videl, like right kinda after the anniversary a little bit though. It's just it didn't really make any sense, but Super Vegeta, again, like, saying it's in the game, people know that already, and stuff like that, of course, but, um, yeah. Um, but just in general, though, Super Vegeta as a Doka Fest isn't a bad idea. I actually do like the idea, but at the same time, it, it does kind of make sense because of the Legendary Vegeta event. Maybe they had to kind of, like, structure and go back, like, okay, we're getting a baby, but it's also, like, it doesn't make sense if we get a Legendary Vegeta event. Why not it be a baby event? I don't know, just point it out a little, a little bit. I feel like it was kind of weird and confusing, like, why would it be a baby if we get, um, you know, Legendary Vegeta event? Well, you know, if we got Goku Freeza, then we got the legendary Goku event. And then we got Goku event for, um, Goku Day. The first one. I keep forgetting about that. But yeah, we got full Doku Fest teaser right here and stuff like that, of course. And it's cool, again, I'm so happy Super Vegeta's getting a Doku Fest. I feel like he deserves- I feel like a lot of people for part 2, I think he could be like an LR or whatever. Um, I guess because, you know, the Super Vegeta and like LR Super Vegeta or like another LR Cell. It's really going back to Cell Saga though, because I mean, we feel like we pretty much got everything. Besides the LR Final Blast Vegeta, I don't know, it's just, it's so much stuff like going on in my head. It's like, that was maybe not a Doka Fest, because it was um, rumored he was going to be a Doka Fest. It's still, it's still like baffles me and throws me off, because we can see this guy as LR, but we also are thinking like he could be, also be a Doka Fest. I don't mind him being a Doka Fest, but it's just, just so much stuff I wanted to say and go out though. But yeah, a couple more hours, about 15, maybe the next 24 hours ish, we'll probably see like his um, info and details. 
then a couple like maybe like a day or another day later we're gonna see Dan download so we can see um the day down and like you know celebration happen at the same time but it's pretty clear uh how this is gonna be though because after this um video we'll probably see like his, his info and details then we'll get like uh day download with the dope fest info so yeah it, again it's really weird we're going back to like the, i i know see him and goku just got dope fest though um I don't know, it feels really weird, like, this right after Tenabata. Tenabata pretty much is over for JP, which actually was really good this year. I did a lot of videos, got a lot of stuff out. I need to, um, actually post a Pungo Dragon Ball video for week two. I have the video done before it ready to go. I just had to get, been recording, um, to record a lot of videos, just a lot of, I've been behind, like, all week and stuff like that. But yeah, again, I'm not mad at Vegeta getting a dope fest and stuff like that, really good. But also, though, um, again, for Super Vegeta, we did actually need a new one. It's not either gonna be STR or Tech. Even though we just got Tech Gogeta, I probably not could go Tech two times in a row. But, or Physical, we could also use Physical, but we just got Geneva as a Physical unit. So, other, um, yeah, it can only be these three, or ADL. Yeah, again, it could be any of these typings, honestly, though, because, um, this video is okay. This video is okay, and he's just transforming unit, and this guy just doesn't awaken at all. I feel like he can honestly get awakening out at this point, even though he has a new Dark Fest one, but again, he's gonna easily have a horrible super attack. Um, it's easy. Again, it's gonna be straight Super Vegeta, though, so, um, but yeah, I'm not mad about that. Again, the Super Vegeta getting a Dark Fest is good, though, but I feel like right now is at the really good moment, because, you know, we're hyping up the Dallas celebration, but we, again, we could get, like, a Dark Fest baby out of the blue for all we know, or, like, a Dark Fest Nova Shimron, Ice Shimron, or, like, a Sin Shimron that goes to Omega, which will honestly be the Dallas celebration, because, you know, last year we got boot tanks and of course um again like boot tanks was like just the lr they just formed into like blue Han. we'll probably see that with omega they'll maybe we'll see like goku and vegeta from like the go from super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta will probably see them going like super saiyan 4 tech godita or it's like the, uh, the, the lr godita or whatever um We'll probably see like uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta separately, like do a dual Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, like last year with Vegito that goes into um Gogeta. Or like we'll see like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta have like the access skill with a big bang attack, a big bang coming in half. They actually would look would, would look actually really nice nowadays in the animation, so yeah. But again, though, Super Vegeta being a Doka Fest isn't that bad. I feel like the timing is kind of weird because we're heading right to Down Celebration. I feel like this kind of throws us off. Then we're gonna say, like, okay, we're gonna get like a um then we're gonna get like a new, new Doka Fest or whatever though. But um otherwise categories wise, um he can actually help out a lot though. The Spirit Sands don't need it, full power doesn't need it. That team I actually saw in my box, full power has gotten really insane. But GA family, I feel like they kinda need more units though, that would be really good. Super Saiyans doesn't need it. Really the Robots can kinda need it though, but again, it's mainly kinda like Piccolo, like um no, you can use Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I've seen a lot of people use Jump on that team. Um, Andrews of Cell Saga definitely needs it. Heavenly Events probably needs it. Gifted Warriors really doesn't need it, but they can use that. Probably good if you use a couple more units. So yeah, again, this guy's gonna help out a lot of categories. Links is gonna be pretty solid as well, though. Again, like, typical with these links, like, Prodigies, Prepare for Battle. Like, he'll probably have the same, like, set like this. Uh, he'll, he'll probably have Active Skill, maybe Final Five, for just have, like, um... You know, he'll, he'll have, like, this, you know, um, the kind of Spirit Limit Break Cannon or whatever. His attack he's can sell right here. But we'll definitely probably see that, like, we'll probably see that in a better animation. Which actually would look, look really good. I've been kind of waiting for, like, a better animation of this, like, for Carter and stuff like that. Or just the super attack in general for, like, for Doken and stuff like that, though. So, um, yeah. Because it came out saying that. Again, the video is okay, though. But, um, I think I got him almost rainbowed, I believe. I, 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 I keep, I also uh, forgot he was on C unit, though. But, yeah. Um, I think, honestly, I think, did I put up Dukfist, baby? Um, oh yeah, I had to pull him up, because I was like, I was thinking, like, he can help out a lot more. Because look how many categories he's done. He can help out Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, he have been a good leader of Terrifying Conquerors, or, like, a Dark and Goku leader. He can be a really good, like, Revenge Leader, um, Inhuman Deeds, um, Grenade Power, um, Space Traveling Warriors, Corrida Body and My, GT, like, bosses, that team that definitely needs to help. I don't know, I feel like the Baby Kid did more, but uh, again, Super Vegeta is, like, pretty much um, ideal as well, because again, both of them are actually, both of them could have been good candidates anyway, because of, just in general, just because, um, they both need help out a lot of categories, and use on the category in general, again, either or is not bad, though, again, like I said, Vegeta as a, Super Vegeta as a Doka Fest isn't bad, though, I feel like it's really good, or like, it could be like a transforming Vegeta, like a base form, because, you know, he does, you know, he might sell purely Super Saiyan, though, so he could be like a Super Saiyan, yeah, then actually go Super, then refer us to fight, you know, he can have, like, the final flash, maybe, he'll, um, I feel like I said that for LR Vegeta though, so LR Vegeta.
like Final Flash. I definitely feel like they can honestly do that though. So either one can honestly work. Him, him having active skill going super, then having like Final Flash or whatever, or like this attack right here where he fought Cell. It'll be like active skill, have this super attack when he fought Cell, but well, well, before he transformed, he just kind of like the animation where he literally just toys with Cell and just beats him down like it's an insect. Because Vegeta literally to like, toys with this man. Like he just is like, I can beat him whenever I feel like it. Like he could have easily just demolished him. He ain't talked on say though. Trump's come out just easily just one shot him though. But yeah, but um, having that, having again, like for down celebration wise, I'll probably do this when I get to it. When these guys get LRs, it's actually gonna be probably worth it though. Again, to be like a Goku and Vegeta, they go to Gogeta or like a Big Bang attack, Gogeta, um, or get like a Mega, again, we're gonna probably say like a Sen goes into Omega or you know, act of skill, um, his minus energy ball, like or attack like he uses it when he like about to blow up the earth. You can have like a what if, like if the whole city and stuff like that, like corroded, like destructed or whatever. But yeah, again, these guys can have more categories, more leaders, and stuff like that. Pretty much the same thing I went over with Baby, but overall though, and I think I just went over this, like, this can help out a lot more with LL Shadow Dragon, Squid Knight, because it's on global, and they have a lot of categories as well. Again, Baby being a Doka Fest isn't, like, really hurts, kind of, because again, like, teams like this will kind of suffer. Like, this will make us, like, if you're just hoping onto these guys, they're not going to be on global for a long time. If you want to try using them and stuff like that, they're not going to be on global for, like, a pretty much a long time. But then on top of that as well, again, these guys are going to kind of, like, hurt a little bit if Down Celebration isn't, like, Doka, like, this Omega and this Gogeta, which is honestly pretty obvious. If it isn't these guys and sadly though um these teams and stuff like that are gonna suffer up a little bit though but yeah um again worldwide, i mean that's gonna kind of hurt worldwide a little bit though with these guys not being the units and like baby not being a dog fest because helping out the categories and units in general will honestly probably hurt a little bit though but um yeah Pretty much gonna go ahead and end the video there. Again, Super Vegeta has a Doka Fest. I don't see that's bad though, but we are getting a legendary Vegeta event soon. We're gonna um see um again um Super Vegeta and stuff like that. Just again a lot of um stuff um there's a lot of stuff to just throw out the window and stuff like that. So yeah. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good job. Again though. Make sure to stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. Everything up. You are mad. So I'm talking if you really need to. Steal it from me, boys. Eat that pizza. Drop the pizza. Drop your burger. Drop your Chipotle burrito, which I ate last week. Um, drop, get your mom's wallet. Go give a G that thing though. So what you guys think about all this info though? Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? Again, good candidate for a Doka Fest. Really good. Have a lot of categories. Again, baby, that being a Doka Fest kind of hurts, like all the categories and units and Dallas celebration potential units. But again, the future will only time will tell. So yeah, see you guys later though. Okay, no. Nope.